Let's see how to Kerberize CDH cluster. As an administrator, before proceeding, you must have access to Cloudera Manager Console and Command Line to install software and do configuration settings. Here you can see we have two machines, Machine 1 and Machine 2 respectively, where we are going to install KDC server on Machine 1 itself. KDC server for a Kerberos can be inside the cluster or outside the cluster. It's Brits. It's best practice to keep it outside the cluster or sort of your Hadoop cluster. For demonstration purpose, we are installing KDC server onto the first machine where we have installed the Cloudera Manager server. As you can see, we have access to both machines from command line and access to Cloudera Manager console too. So as a first step, we will install Kerberos related packages onto the first machine which is going to be KDC server in our case. So those packages are KRB5 server, KRB5 libs and KRB5 workstation. This can be installed using M. Then we will install Kerberos client packages on machine 2 like KRB5 workstation, KRB5 libs, and KRB5 auth dialog. Once it is installed, we will move on to machine 1 for configuration purpose. On the first machine, we, will, we need to edit kdc.conf and krb5.conf file, which is stored under folder where Kerberos krb5 kdc. Here, we need to specify realm name, which is unique name for your kdc server. We will also set max life equals to one day and max renewable life equals to seven day in this file. So for our case, realm name is cscoop.com. Now we will edit krb5.conf file which is situated under etc folder. Here we will specify default realm equals to cscope.com. 
which is unique for our KDC environment. You can specify any realm name as you want. Good practice to keep it similar to your domain name. We will also change domain realm from .example.com to .plotscope.in to realm name which is cscope.com. You need, you need to edit this file cautiously. We also need to set default digit encryption types to ARC4 HMAC, which is specified in krb5.conf. Once this is done, then we need to create a database for our KDC server, which can be done using command user being kdb5 underscore utility space create hyphen s so it will take few seconds to load the kdc server here you have to provide the password this password will be the database password for your kdc server Now we will log in to KTC server using the command kadmin.local and we will add principal. We will add a principal name as cloudera-scm at syscoop.com that is realm name. This principal will be used by cloudera manager to enable the Kerberos. Whatever password you will provide here, you have to keep note of it as it will be used in the next section. We also need to specify this principle into a cell file. Which is cloudera hyphen scm at syscoop.com. Now we will add policy for admin, users and host to our KDC server using add pull command. 
for which you need to log in to kadmin.local to kdc server command will be add poll admin add poll users and add poll hosts Now we need to restart the Kadmin server. After restarting the services, we also need to copy krp5.conf file from KTC server to other machines where we have installed KTC client packages. In our case, we have only one machine that is machine 2. If we don't if we do not copy krb5.conf file to other server, other machines, we will not be able to communicate with KDC server from that machine. Now log in to Cloudera Manager using credentials. On the top menu of Cloudera Manager, you can see the administration menu. Under administration, click on security. Here you can see that Kerberos is default, disabled by default. To enable Kerberos, click on the button Enable Kerberos. It will open wizard for enabling Kerberos. Check all the options which you have done. Click continue. Here you need to specify the KDC server. In our case it is machine 1. Use fully qualified domain name to avoid errors. Default realm is syscoop.com. Maximum, maximum renewable life for principles is 7 days. Click continue. Click on manage krv5.com through Cloudera Manager. Here you can specify custom options for krv5.conf file. Here you are you need to use Cloudera SCM as a username and its password. This is the same principle which you have created earlier from command line. Once it's imported KDC account manager credentials, Clicking continue, we can move to next step. Where we can specify the 
by default Kerberos principle which could be used for different services. Click continue. Here we can configure these ports. By default, we will keep it as 1004 and 1006. Now it will restart our Cloud RAM Manager. Specifically saying it will restart all the services which are managed through Cloud RAM Manager. After a few minutes, you can see the message as it has successfully enabled Kerberos. In real time, there might be the case that some services might not start. So you can start those services from Cloud Run Manager console. Now you can see in the security menu, it has successfully enabled Kerberos. Now let's see how to access Kerberos enabled machines. So on the command line, as a root user, I will try to view the HDFS file system. Here I will get the error as GSS initiate failed. It means my machine is currently Kerberos enabled. If you want to access, you need some prerequisites that we will do now. Login to KTC server using kadmin.local command. Add the principle for a user by which you need to access the Kerberos enabled machine. Here, principle for Cloud Dev 2 user, I am going to add. Specify the password. Once you add principle for Cloud Dev user, you can log in with Cloud Dev to user. Here you, you can't access the Hadoop file system because you don't have ticket to access the cluster. To view the ticket for user, you can use the KList command. To get the ticket, you need to use the command as kinit. Once you kinit from a particular user, you can get the ticket to access the services. Here I can see I have the ticket available for a day. So, I would be able to access the file system. So, you can see that Cloud Dev 2 user now can access the file system because it has Kerberos ticket. So, let's see step by step how to access the Kerberos enabled cluster from a user. First, add the principle using add prince command. We will do it for cloud dev1 user. So here, the command will be add princ cloud dev1 add syscoop.com. Specify the password for Cloud Dev 1 user.
Now log in with Cloud Dev One user. Try to access the file system. You won't because it's Kerberos enabled and we don't have valid ticket. Use knit command. Use the password which we, you have used while creating the principal. As you can see on the screen, we have Kerberos ticket available with the user. It means from this point of time, this newly added user will be able to access the Hadoop file system and its services. So here we will issue the command Hadoop FS hyphen ls and we will be able to access the cluster. So that's all about enabling the Kerberos with Cloudera Hadoop distribution.